Do you have a new 2021 Tab 320 and are interested in learning about how to use the Jensen Cube and Jensen 12 volt TV? Hi, I'm Jen Grover. On this week's episode of Tab Talk, I'm going to show you how to use your Jensen Cube Entertainment Center to watch TV, get sound through the speakers. I'm also going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth dongle to mirror cast your device if you use a Windows or Android device. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because I'm going to show you three different types of hooks I use to help keep myself organized in the tab. Stay tuned. A lot of people ask, why do you watch TV? You don't go camping to sit inside and watch TV. That's absolutely true. But when you do enough camping, you're going to run into situations where it's better to be inside versus outside if you're in real bad weather and you want to monitor the weather or you're going to have to pass some time. I like to take a break and not have to think a lot. So I'll pop in a movie or I'll watch a football game if I'm on the road when the Steelers are playing. So there's a whole host of reasons why you may want to watch TV when you're in the tab. Another thing the TV in the tab is great for is white noise. If you're trying to drown out a nearby railroad or road noise while you're trying to fall asleep, the Jensen can be a great solution. There's actually a timer on the Jensen so that it'll shut off after a certain amount of time has elapsed. Sometimes people complain about the Jensen TV. I understand that. It is not the highest quality TV in the world. Two things to consider. One, it's 12 volt. There are not a lot of 12 volt TVs out there on the market. I tried another brand in my old tab and it was actually a step down. The viewing angles were really poor. So as far as 12 volt TVs go, the Jensen really isn't too bad. The other thing I sort of think, I'm not in my tab to watch TV. It's nice to have on a rainy day when I can't get out and do what I wanna do. Or like I mentioned, the other reasons why I may wanna have the television on. So I'm okay with it not being the same as what's in my house. The other thing is, this is a camper, it's not your house. So you don't wanna have an expensive TV because that would just attract thieves. As far as the Jensen Cube, similar situation, you're dealing with a 12 volt entertainment setup that is designed to be plug and play with the TV. It, I do think it is probably one of the better solutions on the market for a small RV like ours today. Yes, there are bigger, more expensive systems, but when you think about it, you don't want a huge TV when you're this close to the TV. It's gonna be a poor viewing experience. When you use your remotes for the TV and for the stereo, there's one button that's critical to both watching what you want to watch and getting sound through the speakers when you're watching TV in the tab. And that's the source button. On the TV, you're selecting your source of what you're watching. If it's just TV over the air channels, you'll want to use the TV as your source. If you're using something on a USB stick that's plugged into the TV, then you'll want to choose USB. If you're using something that's plugged into the HDMI outlet on the Jensen Cube, then you'll want to choose HDMI. For your audio, the source will give you options for radio, for Bluetooth, for auxiliary in, and for HDMI. For TV, you'll want to choose auxiliary in. If you're using something to connect to the HDMI outlet, you'll want to use HDMI. If you're going to use the audio from your phone, choose BT mode or Bluetooth. So starting from scratch, we have a remote for the Jensen TV. The power button's the green button in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and power on the TV. And at the same time, I'm gonna make sure that the Jensen Cube is powered on with the smaller Cube remote. I can see them both lighting up. Now the first thing you wanna do is check what input that you have on your television. Right now, mine is set to HDMI. It actually gives me a message. Um, that means it's using the HDMI input into the Jensen Cube. If you want to switch to television, you locate the source button, which is between the channel and volume button on the TV remote, and switch to TV. Now at this point in time, you're going to see no channels come up. I don't have an antenna connected right now, and the reason is because I don't get many channels at home in the summer because of the foliage. The foliage actually obstructs with me getting channels. But I can show you on the TV how to get the sound through the speakers. What you want to do is go ahead and hit the menu button on your TV remote. Now the menu button, in case you don't know where that is, is about a third of the way down. It's below 
the first set of buttons on the remote. I'm going to hold it up and it's just to the upper left of that little four-way navigation setting on your remote. So I'm going to hit menu and menu takes me to this particular setup. Now I'm going to go all the way over to channel to select a channel. Um, I'm not going to scan right now, but this is how you'd find over the air TV channels. In case you didn't know, there is a TV antenna connection in the Nautilus water system, and you can connect an antenna. I use a small inexpensive one, and I'll go ahead and drop a link for that in the description below. My rationale for the small inexpensive antenna is that I don't want to spend a lot of money, but if I can pick up a few extra channels, this remote does the trick. It's magnetic. Um, I will be honest, on my old tab, I could connect it to the Kita rail via the magnet. In this particular case, because the Kita rail is recessed, I actually used a clip that had a magnet on it. I haven't quite figured out how I'll connect it. I think I can just actually set it on top of the trailer, but I haven't done that yet. I really haven't played around with the TV too much. But to get the sound through the Jensen, you're going to go over to audio and you're going to come down to the audio menu. And you see where it says TV speaker? I have mine off. Your options are on, so sound would actually come through the TV if it's on, or off. And that's going to keep you from getting your sound through the TV. The next thing you're going to do is go to the Jensen Cube. With the Jensen Cube, again, you're going to have to select a source. On the remote for the Jensen Cube, the source is to the right of the number three on the keypad. So I'm going to stand up so you can see and I can scroll through. It was in Bluetooth, now it's in auxiliary, so it's going to take whatever the input is and use that as its audio source. HDMI, that's the plug to the left here. And then, of course, we've got AM, FM, and then back to Bluetooth. If you're using your phone to cast media, you'll want to play around to see whether Bluetooth or HDMI works better for sound. I've used both and honestly it's dependent on the programming which one I choose. Bluetooth I think does tend to be a little better. If you're just watching TV you'll scroll through with the source and you're going to choose AUGS IN. That's because you're taking the TV antenna in. I'm going to show you if I'm going to cast media from my particular phone I'm going to go to source and I'm going to choose HDMI because I'm taking the input from the HDMI dongle. In my case, I'm using a Microsoft wireless display adapter. The Microsoft wireless display adapter plugs into the HDMI port and is powered by the USB port. That's why you see a cable there. There is a version 2 out. Mine's version 1. I'd recommend getting version 2 so that you're getting the latest hardware. But I found this to be pretty much flawless if you're using a Windows device or if you're using an Android device to cast your media. I'm going to go ahead and go to my phone and cast the media. Now it's going to be different depending on your device. I have an Android device and it likes to use an app called SmartThings. So I'm going down to SmartThings, I'm going to skip the inner Wi-Fi connection because I'm at home. and I'm looking. This is a brand new phone for me, so I haven't paired it yet. Now that I've paired my phone to the display adapter, I can see it's showing as available in my list, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to choose mirror screen, and it's going to start now. It's showing connecting. In just a second, it should pop right up on my screen. And right there, you can see I'm mirroring my phone. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how I mirror some media. I'm going to go to my phone and and it's automatically mirroring. Now this is a GIF, so it's not real high quality video, but you can see it's mirroring. If I want to use something like Amazon Prime, I download videos before I watch it. Netflix is the same thing. 
if I want to burn through my data I will and watch YouTube TV, I will stream that. One word of caution about unlimited data plans is most of them are not truly unlimited. They advertise as unlimited, but if you read the fine print, there's usually a point at which they'll throttle your speed. So know what those limits are. I don't want to see you run into a situation where you're on a trip and have your data slow to a crawl. If you're not a big data user, then it probably isn't a huge issue, but if you are, it could be a problem. I'm going to show you one of my own videos. I'm not violating YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my TV. And I'm not sure if you can hear, but there's audio coming through my Jensen speakers. Because I've selected the right audio source, I'm able to play through the speakers. Now that I've shown you how to use the Jensen Cube, I'm going to show you three hooks that I use in the tab to help keep myself organized. The first hook I'm going to show you should be recognizable to you. It's just a command hook, 3M command hook. I can slide it on and then slide it right back on. I've heard some people say that on these newer style walls, they've had difficulty getting the command strips to stick. Let me give you a couple tips. First, wipe the area down with an alcohol prep pad. You can get those for lens cleaners, first aid kits, you could even get a cloth with some al rubbing alcohol and wipe it down, although rubbing alcohol is a little hard to come by right now. Once you've done that, follow the command strip instructions to a T. And when I say to a T, read through the instructions and do exactly what they say. That usually includes waiting to put any weight on the hook, and I will even wait longer than the instructions stay. Hit hook is one that I've picked up on Amazon. It's a swivel hook that folds away and it's very sturdy. A lot of people don't realize it, but this is a solid piece right here in this little strip that goes between the trim and the shower door. So you can actually drill into this and it'll be very solid. Make sure you're careful because you don't want to have holes in your tab that are from mistakes. So the old measure twice, cut once, measure twice, drill once should apply. I don't use the plastic wall anchors that are included, the screws into what I think might be metal is solid enough. And I've been able to hang some heavy things on here in my old tab. And I can tell it's the same type of thing in my new tab. And I think you're really gonna like this hook. Also the brushed nickel looks like it fits in with the other decor in the tab. The last hook I'm gonna show you is one that's new to the market. And it's because it's created by a tab owner and a 3D printer. I'm gonna pull it off. It fits perfectly on the 2021 Tab 320s. You can see it's a nice solid plastic. Anton has added some nice neoprene padding to keep you from marking up the door. And the hook is very solid. What I'm gonna do with these hooks is hang my bath towels. My mom has installed some grommets in the corner so I'll be able to hang them easily and they'll be accessible. What about you? What do you like to watch or listen to when you're traveling? I know a lot of people like to unplug completely, and that's fine too. I understand that. If you have another tip to help people enjoy the Jensen, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and click the little bell so that you're notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.